Hello investors and traders and welcome to the weekly market report. I'm AJ Monty and this is a 20 year monthly candle chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF ticker symbol DIA. Now I'm starting off with the diamonds because I want to reiterate and emphasize the danger in what we're seeing in this market right now technically that's technically now some of you are still buying at the highs and i'm not going to tell you not to do that but i tell you that the greatest value that we get from candle charts and any other type of technical analysis is that if used correctly as a risk management tool it could absolutely save you from suffering a catastrophic loss now again this is a monthly chart going back 20 years and you can see that we have higher highs followed by lower lows now what is that that's called a broadening top some will also refer to that as a megaphone top and in addition to this you can see that the stochastics and the cci down here here's the stochastics you'll see that we have lower highs on the stochastics while we have higher highs on the price action and again on the cci we have much lower highs than what we have here as higher highs now again as a risk management tool the charts are telling us to protect 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 if you're going to take a long position, go right ahead, but I would strongly encourage you to use trailing stops or options perhaps, or some type of a strategy that will help protect you against the downside pullback. Now, as I zoom in here to the daily chart, you're going to see that my lines are still in place. And again, I watch the YouTube channel. I look at the comments. There are some people saying, oh, forecast is so wrong, so wrong. Well these targets are in place and i'm going to maintain these gap targets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase this and extend it out to the right and i'm going to move this one over to the right as well so here's my target i'm just going to keep that in place just like that eventually i think that gap will fill and you see that this week we even had another slight gap up so look look what we have here a gap up here we have another gap up here, another gap, a third gap still open. Now, 80% of the time gaps fill, so you have to watch that because Monday is the last trading day of the month of November. Then we get into December, and while most people are expecting a year-end rally, also known as a Santa Claus rally, that usually takes place in the last five days of December, last five trading days. So that has worked out pretty well for folks taking short term, you know, long positions. But again, as I back out here, you're going to see that this is the megaphone top. That's the resistance. So I'm going to keep that in place just like that and tell you that there is still a very strong risk that we're going to pull back. And then if we pull back and start breaking down below key support levels, that could be a very dangerous position for us because if you look this too is a higher high followed by lower lows so we more or less have a megaphone or a broadening pattern within a broadening pattern and i've never seen that in my 40 years of analyzing the markets i've never seen that so take this for what it's worth hopefully you're taking it as a risk management tool and moving forward that way now Let's go to the SPY and I want to go back up and look at this as well as a monthly chart. Again, this is 20 years of history right here. And you can see we have much higher highs followed by much lower lows. And that is even more dramatic of a pattern when you compare that to the diamonds. And again, while we have higher highs, we have lower highs on the CCI that is the most significant sell signal that you could read out of all the signals the cci is showing a negative divergence very important and then again month after month look what's happening we have lower volume month after month we see the volume dropping here it's not increasing like it did back here or even back here it's dropping so you have to be careful that because the drop in volume is telling us that the 
buyers are losing some of that momentum. So if I go back to the daily chart, leaving that megaphone top as resistance right there, I'm going to keep my line. I'm just going to move that on over the same angle and everything. And I'm even going to extend that to pass through my target price down there. I'm just going to extend that out. This is a two week forecast with gaps down below the market right there. Notice we had a higher close on Friday, but look at the CCI still going lower again, negative divergence right there. So if we take a look at the VIX, I'm going to hop to the VIX because that's inversely related to the S&P. We have the support level is holding quite nicely. This has been in place for a while, going to race this, moving on over to the right, because when the VIX starts taking off, it's most likely going to take off. And it could be a very rapid rally after this hammer pattern right here. So I'm going to even extend this out into a two week forecast right there. You had the CCI here showing the lowest level it's been in months uh, combined with a hammer pattern right there and a long stretch of red that's known as a stale red light. I think the VIX could in turn rally as a result of that. And remember, it's inversely related to the S&P. So if the VIX rallies, that's bearish for the S&P. All right, let's take a look at the IWM, which is the ETF for the Russell 2000, taking a step back again, monthly chart. Look at this, a major megaphone top again with much lower lows. Look at that. You, you've never seen this. Go back and look at the last hundred years and you've never seen a broadening pattern like that. Not only that, if you look month after month, this is a fairly steep angle. You know, the prices have been rallying. We're now into vertical growth, which cannot be sustained. You understand? So if we see prices starting to pull back, all these folks that got in at the beginning of the year are now going to start to think about taking profits. That could put some more pressure on the market overall. And from there, watch out below. So that's the IWM. Let me zoom into the daily chart there. I'm just going to move this all on over. I'm going to keep this line. That's a roll reversal. Let me remove this. I'll remove this and just, again, move it out to the right. So you have some price targets there. I could have just <laughs> erased everything, but I want to keep the megaphone top in place. So from that high, moving it out horizontally, just like that. I'm going to keep that as a gap fill support level right around 165. We're already at resistance at that megaphone top. Again, two week forecast. I'm just going to keep that out just like that would be the IWM hitting at 174.74. And you can see again, this, the stochastics are showing lower highs. The CCI is showing a major divergence there, price divergence from that high. Again, higher highs, lower highs, that's the divergence I'm talking about. And so that is what you have to watch out for on IWM. Now, finally, looking at the Qs, that's the tech sector. That's the QQQ right there. I'm going to keep all this in place. We did pull back a little bit earlier in the week. But we didn't hit the target, but I think we have a gap right here. And I'm going to show you the megaphone top on this one as well. It's pretty impressive. They go back and look at the monthly chart right there. Just boom. Look at that. That's absolutely incredible. Now, this is more or less a distorted top where it's not pulled back at all, at least yet. You see, so we have a wide divergence from that 20 period moving average. And that's a 20 month moving average One of the widest price divergences from that moving average in recorded history for the cues and again that is the charts telling us watch out below be careful and month after month look at the volume dropping three months in a row with only one trading day left in the month it's highly unlikely this volume bar is going to surpass what we saw last month so we're very close to a sell signal on the cci as well for the cues remember that's the monthly chart going to the daily chart right there we can see that there's gaps below the market. I'm going to even extend that out to the right. Eventually that gap will fill. So be careful, trail your stops on the cues as well. This is very close to all this resistance up here. So I'm gonna say two weeks out, we're probably gonna pull back to that moving average to a level of 290.12.
Again, look at that CCI. On the daily chart, that is the most overbought it's been all year. And so we're looking for a pullback in the CCI, which could in turn trigger some selling pressure into the market. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving with your friends and family members. I am certainly thankful for each and every one of you as you follow along with these reports and follow along with my trade alerts. Stay tuned. I believe we have a lot of good things coming down the road. Remember, no matter what happens in the world, the stock market's going to be there. It will go up, it will go down, and we'll be able to make money either way. So have a great rest of the week. So long.